Cohocton being a, a mainly a farming community uh, made up of many small farms, etc., there isn't a, a, a lot of way to produce income other than raising taxes. We've always had wind here. And when people tell you the wind doesn't blow here, uh, they don't live here. And my dad and I have talked about it for 25 years. You know, we ought to harness this wind to do something with it. We asked a lot of questions. We held a lot of public hearings. We now have a way to solve our financial situation and make, make the town a better place. The first year we received somewhere in excess of three quarters of a million dollars. It's allowing us to reduce our town taxes and the impact of, of the wind turbines has been really substantial on our local economy. There was an excess of 250 people working on the construction of this project and I know that over half of those people were from the local area. There's a lot of things that can be done in town now that need to be done. They bought a new grader and they resurfaced the aging park pool. They participated in all our different community activities, they supported Little League, the football team, but it's, it's like everything. When you, when you have change, it scares some people. You're going to get somebody once in a while that doesn't like something, how it looks, but that doesn't necessarily mean I like the color of their house either when I drive by it. I've seen a lot of changes, right, from horses, tractors, steam engines to the diesel locomotives on the trains, and I like the progress. I like the windmills coming in. I watch these guys farming around me all the time. And, uh, it's very difficult. This is a perfect fit to give them some extra income. As far as growing corn is concerned, uh, lots of years there's no money in it. <laughs> the turbines don't take up very much space and we'll, we won't have any trouble coexisting with them. And I look at it in terms of a broader picture. I think that we do need to do something about the energy crisis in this country. I think it's one of the answers, don't you? I have two kids that always give dad advice, you know. They're saying, dad, you gotta do this. You, 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 you've gotta push for this. This is our future. As a, a, a member of my town government, I can't think of a better legacy that I could have left for my town. We're conservation minded up here, and, and this is a thing that goes along with it. Um, yes, it's a machine sitting out there, but there's no smoke billowing from it. We're not adding any emissions to the atmosphere. I don't know how it can get any better than that. Don't you think so? I think he's nodding his head yes.